Welcome to another how-to by myself, Rob Allen. Today I'm going to show you our basic equipment set up ready to do, for instance, a shore dive. Obviously, you need the gun first. Attached to the gun, you need a float line. There's a big variety of these. Clips on and off, very easy, through a long line clip. The other end of that attaches to your buoy. That can be 5 litre, 7 litre as in this case, or a 12 litre. Some come with flags, with weights. On a shore dive, you'll need to have a fish stringer. That clips in there at the back. That's a 2 mil cable with a plastic sheath to protect it and a sharpened stainless pin. The sharpened end also has a notch. This allows you to grip when pushing through the fish's eyes. Most thread fish through the eye or through the bottom of the jaw and out the top, especially with fish with sharp teeth. You need to keep their mouth closed. When swimming out through the shore, shoreline, you don't want this dragging. This can foul with the reef. It's a good idea to set a small rubber bungee piece on the clip, push the point in and swim along like that. Nothing to foul. When you need it, Grab that with one hand, pull, and it releases. Some guys enjoy to disconnect their gun and fit a reef hook to do that. Loop it onto your boy line. There it goes. And connect it to the rear of your gun. The hook itself is entrapped in a plastic tube. When you need it, pull it out, hook that into some soft part of the reef, disconnect the gun. Your boy is now anchored to the bottom. And those who use real guns, which can be attached to the real gun bracket, can now swim around freely, marking the spot with their boy line. On returning, the best way to wind up a, a boy line is to set it up in a figure of eight. The reason for a figure of eight is to stop all twists. You're twisting one way, then the other. If you wind it up like you would a ball of string, you're setting a twist into it. It's always best to set it in a figure of eight. No twists and it comes out much easier. There are opportunities where you may be diving shallow, so you don't want too much line. Set it up in a hank, figure of eight. Throw half hitches around it. Two is okay, both sides. You've now shortened your float line quite considerably and can continue diving in the shallows with your boy much closer to you. If you need to unhank it in a hurry, grab the middle, pop one loop off, that's all necessary. If you've shot a large fish, the remains will pull out and deploy all the stored line. As you see, no twists, no entanglement, pulls apart very easily. Another option is our blue water bungee line. This comes in 20, 25 or 30 meter lengths. Quite strong to pull on. It stretches to twice its length, so at a 20 meter you would end up with 40 meters at max stretch. And at max stretch, this float line is 18 kilos of tension. The inner core is Dyneema at 250 kg brake strain. So plenty strong enough if the sheath gets damaged. Still got enough tension to hold fish. Easy to clip on. The reason all our float lines don't have clips is because we have clips on the buoy. If your clip is on the other end of your float line and you get entangled and you disconnect the moment you let go of the loose end, 
that will sink down. Much more difficult. You're holding the gun in one hand. You're trying to retrieve your loose end. It's better to not have anything on your float line. Keep all your clips either on your float, uh, the other end on your gun. We also have a variety of masks and snorkels. These are our latest snorkels, plain black or camo. Very simple, no moving parts, easy to use and light. The snapper mask comes in either green or black. Very easy to adjust in the water, tension or push a button to release. You don't have to take the mask off. This is our reef style, low volume. Then for game fish, it is better to use full lens. The difference between the two is in open water with an open central section, your ability to judge depth improves. The moment you have something in the middle, it can affect your ability to de judge depth. This is very important when hunting game fish. In terms of fit, there's a variety of shapes of person's face, so we have a second version of a similar style game fish mask, also with easy adjustments. Whilst you're wearing it, you can adjust very simply. Fins are becoming lighter and lighter. These are the latest generation, all with polyurethane foot pockets opposed to rubber, long term more durable and much lighter. This specific model doesn't have removable blades, less likely to give trouble, no bolts and screws, and a very good start out plastic fin. There you have it, lots of new gear branded for Rob Allen.